This is the fourth video in the series titled, Dragon Ball Z Teaches Real Life Kung Fu Information. Dragon Ball Z is a children's cartoon from Japan. The cartoon is about a young boy who wants to learn Kung Fu. The young boy, whose name is Goku, finds a master who teaches him Kung Fu. The young boy then goes on to win second place in the World Martial Arts Tournament. According to Happy Theory and Common Sense, the creators of the cartoon Dragon Ball Z put their own knowledge of Kung Fu into the cartoon. According to Happy Theory, various real-life Kung Fu ideas and lessons can be found in the children's cartoon Dragon Ball Z. The ideas and lessons about real-life Kung Fu found in Dragon Ball Z can be simple and clear, or subtle and profound. This series of videos will discuss the various real-life Kung Fu ideas and lessons that are presented in the cartoon Dragon Ball Z. This fourth video in the series involves a situation that occurs later in the timeline of the story of Dragon Ball Z. The reason for emphasizing the events discussed in this video are from later in the timeline of the story of Dragon Ball Z is that by the time the events discussed in this video take place, the cartoon characters have all developed a high level of powerful kung fu after years of training and experience. A video clip from the cartoon is going to be shown next. Immediately preceding the events that will be shown in the video clip, Goku and an opponent named Captain Ginyu have been fighting each other for a long period of time. Captain Ginyu has been forced to accept that Goku is stronger than he is, and there is no way that he can win the fight. When Captain Ginyu realizes that he cannot beat Goku, he punches a hole in his own chest. Why would Captain Ginyu purposefully damage his own body, making it even weaker than it was, when he was already losing the fight? Logically, Captain Ginyu should have done something that would help him beat Goku and win the fight. The answer to why Captain Ginyu would punch himself in the chest is shown in the following video clip. You, hey, what kind of powers did you use? Uh... <laughs> the power to metamorph into your body and fool your men. Uh, it's impossible. No, it can't be. In a very dramatic way, the video clip showed Captain Ginyu taking over Goku's body in a process that the cartoon called metamorphosis. What Captain Ginyu did is also commonly known as possession. Captain Ginyu possessed, or took control of, Goku's body. According to Happy Theory, that is one of the real-life Kung Fu ideas that the creators of the cartoon Dragon Ball Z included in the cartoon. According to Happy Theory, it really is possible for one human being to possess, or take control of, the body of another human being. According to Happy Theory, the creators of the cartoon Dragon Ball Z created the situation shown in the video clip to teach viewers that a human being who practices Kung Fu for a long period of time, long enough for their body to fully undergo the changes that Kung Fu makes in the human body, 
can develop the power to possess the body of another human being. When the high-level Kung Fu man possesses the body of another human being, he can make that body do anything he wants within reason. The power of possession being discussed here is not like the power of possession shown in horror movies. A possessed human being cannot turn their head through 360 degrees of rotation, nor bend over completely backwards. A possessed human body can only be made to do the things that a normal human body can do. It would be natural to wonder how something like the ability of one human being to possess the body of another human being would work. According to Happy Theory, possession works through the energy of the human body. According to Happy Theory, human beings have energy. The energy of a human being is like electromagnetic energy. Examples of electromagnetic energy are radio waves, microwaves, or x-rays. The energy of a human being has many of the same properties that electromagnetic energy has. According to Happy Theory, the practice of Kung Fu will increase the energy level of any human being. One of the properties of electromagnetic energy is that stronger electromagnetic energy will override weaker electromagnetic energy. A familiar analogy to demonstrate this property would be radio signals. Sometimes a strong radio signal will override the weaker signal of another radio station. When the radio is tuned to the weaker station, the stronger station's broadcast is heard instead because the stronger station's broadcast is overriding and taking control of the weaker station's broadcast frequency. According to Happy Theory, that is exactly how possession works. A human being who has not practiced Kung Fu will usually have weak energy compared to the energy of a trained Kung Fu man. Like the weak radio station, the weak energy of the weak human being can be overridden by a stronger source of energy like the strong energy of a trained Kung Fu man. The strong energy of the trained Kung Fu man, which is invisible like electromagnetic energy, travels through thin air, like electromagnetic energy can travel through thin air, from his body to the body of the other person. The stronger energy of the Kung Fu man then takes control of the body of the other person, which will obey the stronger energy of the Kung Fu man. The person whose body is being possessed will keep trying to control their body with their weak energy, just like the weak powered radio station continues with its weak powered broadcast. But the weaker human being's body will only obey the stronger energy of the Kung Fu man, just like the weak radio station's broadcasting frequency will only play the broadcast of the more powerful radio station. This video has presented the claim that the creators of the cartoon Dragon Ball Z created a situation in the cartoon in which the body of one of the cartoon's characters was taken over by another one of the cartoon's characters to teach viewers that possession, the act of taking over and controlling the body of another human being, is one of the abilities that can be gained by the long-term practice of real Kung Fu. According to Happy Theory, the ability of possession is actually one of the goals of high-level Kung Fu. There is no need to punch or kick someone when all you have to do is take control of their body and make them do whatever you want. 